Big B. Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Let's go to Lawrence's apartment. We need to tell him about his wife. He deserves to know. You're right. And Toad's a tough... Toad. He can probably handle himself for a few hours. We'll have to. Achievement unlock. unlocked. The frog or the prince? Lawrence's apartment. South Bronx, early morning. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We're here on official Fabletown business. And we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. I don't want to beat him up, okay? I could just persuade him through talking means. But if I have to beat someone up, I will. I will. Let's just open, knock on the door. Lawrence! You in there? Hey, open up! It's Bigby. I need to talk to you. I will kick down the door if I have to. Can I go in the window? What is going on? Hey. Hey. All right. We'll try this out. Guess we're out of options. Come on, help me up. Oh no. If he's dead, I should have gone for Toad first. Oh god. We're too late. That makes two fables dead. We need to figure out what the hell is going on here. Who would do this to them? I don't know, Snow. Please, no, why is he dead? Uh. That Why is he dead? <laughs> Ruined his shirt. I think that's the least of his problems right now, to be honest. They never really look peaceful, do they? I wouldn't know. Damn. Dry. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Ah. That doesn't really help. Um. Bullet hole. Bullet passed through the chair.
When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Blood. Something's been moved. Strange. Hard edge to this pool, like something was here and got moved. Sticky. And the blood on the guy was dry. It's sharp. And there's blood on the blade. This could be someone hiding in the Is bed. that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. He must have been holding the knife. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Someone had a gun. So he must have stabbed them. But that being... Huh. Um... Hmm... Look, no one's there. Son of a... That is a note. What is that? Is he going to read it if I pick it up? It's stuck to the bed a little. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. I should know his face. There are so few of us. I should know his face. It's Blake. <gasps> oh my oh, god, Bigby, oh, he's alive! Shit! What? What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh. What are you doing here? What's going on? We found you here, in your chair, with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart. Have him take a look oh, at you. Wait a second. Shit. No. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Why? What? What's this about? When was the last time you saw your wife, Lawrence? I... I don't know. A few weeks ago. She... came by to get some things. That's what she said. But I, I think it was so she could leave some money. I, I didn't find it till later. We've been separated for some time now. Oh no! Lawrence, what did you do? I made a decision for us. It felt like the only way out. So I shot myself in the heart. I oh, thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. Probably had a lung. Great. Uh, at least that's how I think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. Thought it was a bad dream. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done that to her. What did he do to her? I did what I could to keep her away. But she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me. Without me being here well, to up, drag her dead. down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been there for me. Go away. 
Your wife is missing. What? Oh, no. 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 No, no, no. I knew this would happen. Fuck, Georgie. Who's Georgie? Lawrence, I, uh... Do you... Are you expecting anyone? I'll see who it is. No, wait. We need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. Think about your wife. Oh, God. This is good. <gasps> Oh, shit. I don't know who that is. Jump out. Hey! <gasps> Stay here! No! Was it wise to jump out? I don't know. Hey! Stop! Leave me alone! Ah! Please don't make me press buttons. Oh god damn it! Bloody button pressing! Ease up, Bigby. We're on the same side here. You... son of a bitch. Make me run after you. What were you doing back there? The same thing you should be doing. Investigating. Looking for clues. The fuck you doing hiding in closets? Fuck, man. Fuck, man! I'm asking the questions. You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. They're coming with me. This could have been easy. Oh, don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to- No, I'm D. He's dumb. Tweedle in, tweedle them. Ah, <gasps> oh, I can't even avoid that. You almost looked peaceful. Spent Florence okay? Yep. It just kind of left him. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. <laughs> Where'd they go? 
Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. That damn Tweedledee and Tweedledee. Come on, get up. We should check in on Toad. See if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. <sighs> the Woodsman's apartment, South Bronx, early morning. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in the day. Oh god. <laughs> Oops. I don't think anybody's here. We came all this way for nothing. <laughs> Alright, son. Alright, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. Shit. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? I'll try. Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big B. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing Why but a leaky drain today? pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. We heard someone crying. Oh, the boy stubbed his toe on the bed frame is all. It that stinks, you know, but it's nothing to kick up a fuss about. A little tub swim, he'll be right as rain, I'm sure. Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. You asked me to help, so I'm gonna help. So I mean, I'm you. sorry you came all the way here for nothing. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... Fine. Don't Relax. make me. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Mm. TJ? Are you all right? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could perhaps let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. A weevil? Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. If no one's here, why is this lamp smashed? How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. Well, the boy was faffing about, playing sods and swordfish. Who knows with the lad? Hmm. Not buying it. A busted latch. Your lock's busted too. This place is falling apart. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Mm. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Not buying it. What else is broken? Why is there blood on the wall? Well, it's just some wood rot. Mm. Not mold or anything. You bleeding? 
Why, is that blood? Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. Mm. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Hmm. Then why is a fireplace poker on the floor? With blood on it. There's more blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... That's how it happened, didn't it? I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no. I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. I call bullshit on this. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight, and I don't know why you'd cover for it, but I know you're lying about something. But I'm not- And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. I guess Honest. you are bullshitting. We'll see. Pitching and make me itchy. Hmm. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. I no. There's marks here on the window sill. And what's that about? No real reason. Like three fingers and a thumb. Just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate. As you would be. <laughs> and I plumb forgot the keys me. to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Your lock's <sighs> broken. On the door. Why would you have to climb in through the window? You heard uh, the new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? I'm not buying any Bloody of this hell, bullshit. Bloody what sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? But you wouldn't need keys, since the lock's broken, so... Why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing, you bringing all this shit up, alright? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Well, let's see what else I can find. Uh. Oh, 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 oh. On the table. On the table. There's a dust ring where the lamp was. It fell over, over there. Too. What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I the mean, same enough. shape of the lamp. Then why is it over there? That yeah. broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? I don't know. Something about it seems fishy. Oi, 
dancing broomsticks in talking toasters are one little thing, but a wolf in sheriff's clothing can't fathom a knocked over desk light? Big B, come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this, the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Bigby. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad? Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, and Toad is you're bleeding. bleeding. Take off the hat. It was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dame or You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman ain't. Or thought he ain't, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take live long day to get it. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. Well, maybe a if you got some glamour. Are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. We were lucky it didn't go any further. What did you tell him? Nothing. There's nothing he wanted to know, except if I had this thing that he wanted. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. Oh, shit. We even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. Well, merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Donkey thing. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. <laughs> Wait. There's a mysterious object. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? It belongs to Lawrence. Doesn't seem we'll right opening him. another man's mail. Let's try and we'll get it to him. We'll respect that. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. Toad, why are you so rude? It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? And if you're looking for the woodsman, try down at the trip trap. Mm. 